All right, guys, Revol Rossler here, and this is my final video of the day. This is What's Popping Episode 8, Birthday Bonanza Part 3. It wraps up today, and really, these two figurines aren't anything really to do my birthday. I guess it's birthday money, you could say, that I've used on them. It was a birthday trip, which I went on uh, where I bought them, so I suppose you could say that they are birthday presents. But without further ado, let's get into this episode. Um, this is like a WWE themed episode as well. I've got three figures here, all WWE. One is uh, from WWE set, the other is an Underground Toys exclusive, which got the name right, finally. Uh, two pack, and I'll get into the one I picked up yesterday first. So obviously, I went to Raw on Monday night. Because Raw's on a Monday night. There's the ticket, went to Raw, you've seen the video. If you haven't, please check the view out, please check my thoughts out on the show. Um, and the day after we went around London, I, of course, was like, right, I want to look for a toy shop. I want to look for pop vinyl. We went into Hamley's, which is this huge toy shop, about five, toy shop, sorry, about five floors, big shop. And I was just like, right, let's look for the pops. Found the pop wall, and I picked up the one I thought was the most topical because I went to go and see Raw, and I saw this guy at Raw. So I was like, I'm going to get him. He was my favourite guy back in 2015 when he actually wore this attire. So I thought I'd get him as sort of nostalgia. Even though nostalgia for two years ago is weird. So anyway, I picked up, of course, Seth Rollins. Now this Seth Rollins is from 2015. This is really just around the time he won the WWE World title at Mania 31. That outfit is literally the outfit he wore at Mania 31. Um, I really love it. I love the feel of it. Obviously, you guys can't feel this, but it feels like a different material. It feels sort of... The latexy that, that Seth Rollins wears, which feels very good. Uh, the colour scheme as well, the fact that the grey there specifically is painted very, very well. Uh, you can see his chest is almost metallic as well, which I really, really like. It makes it look very shiny. Um, I think the, the knee pads aren't particularly well done. I think they don't stick out enough for me, really. There's a slight clip for the boots, but the knee pads don't really stick out for me. And then the boots look pretty good as well. Um, back to the hair, of course. I think the hair is pretty good for Rollins. I think it's tough to do Rollins' his hair because he changes it up so much, but I think it's pretty well done. And I think the fact that he has a couple of streaks on his face uh, does make it good. Uh, the beard as well, I think, is actually crackingly well done. Although it does, um, the colour of the beard hair looks slightly, is, is slightly different to the, um, the hair on his, on his actual head, I think. So it looks a little bit weird. Of course, he's also wearing gloves and he has SR on his belt as you can see there good figure i do like this figure quite a lot he's very nostalgic as i said uh Seth Rollins was my favorite guy back in 2015 he was my favorite guy we on the raw brand i'd say so i had to really get several Rollins. i was going to get a current wwe guy at least on raw moving on to the two pack as i said underground toys exclusive two pack these are both women you'll be able to work it out very easily this is not a total bella set this is actually a wwe set so I'm going to have to get a Total Bellas figure as well, I think, just to kind of, to get that TV showing, because I can kind of use that. Uh, I'll probably get the page or something, which will be weird on my shelf, but whatever. Um, but yeah, you guys know who this is. So this is, of course, and by the way, obviously, okay, so of course it's the Bella Twins, but the problem with the Bella Twins is that in pop final form, it's going to be very hard to dis distinguish them, because they are identical twins. They did it very smartly, though, and they basically have Brie, who, of course, the distinct things about Brie are the, really the fact that when I look at both figures, the only real distinct thing about Brie is I think her hair is a little brighter, which is, is more of a brown, which it really shouldn't be. Uh, Brie, Brie does have totally black hair, and I think her hair is not particularly great. I think it really, especially in the light, when I, as I can see it, for you it probably looks a bit darker. For me, it is very kind of light brown. It doesn't look great. The rest of the figure looks really good. And the most distinguishable thing about Brie is the Brie mode on her chest, as you can see there. And with Nikki, uh, they decided to just go all out and they just said, hey, we'll just give her a hat. Simple as. Fearless on the back of the hat. The hat's really, really good. I do like the light look of the hat. Um, and I've got it on back to front, which is how Nikki wears it. The eyebrows as well, I think, um, look good on both women. Again, I think the colour for Nikki is, is off. Nikki is not that colour hair, she's definitely black, totally black, um, and of course on her chest it says fearless, now of course one of the biggest differences that I always think of when I think of the Bellas is the fact that one has a bigger bust, uh, and it is, it is Nikki, but here, again, they do kind of have very similar bust size, 
So I think that these are both good figures. I just think that there's a couple of real things that really did need to be changed. They are identical twins, so they do look very similar. But um, there is actually a bit of a paint problem underneath on this left side here. Um, here. Wait. Yeah, right there. You probably won't be able to see it, but it's kind of gone onto the hair a little bit. It doesn't look amazing, but it does look okay. I do love the look of the hat. I think the hat is really well painted. It does feel different. It feels quite organic. Uh, not organic. It feels nice. Uh, and then, of course, the bottom of both women are exactly the same. They're wearing uh, pants, and then they're wearing their boots, which are iconic for the Bellas now. So that is episode eight of What's Popping. Uh, birthday Bonanza Part 3, that's the end of my Birthday Bonanza. So at the end of my Birthday Bonanza, my pop vinyl tally has risen to a amazing, I think probably about 30 pops. And I'm getting another one on Friday. Uh, my friend, well, my, as I said in my last video, please check all these pop vinyl videos out if you haven't. My brother's girlfriend has apparently brought me a pop. So I don't know what that is, and I'm excited to see what it is, and I'm excited to see you guys and show you guys the next pop, but I guess that is the episode, guys. Thanks for watching. This has been Roll Russell. Tell me your thoughts. Which is your favourite pop in this episode? Uh, for me, it's probably uh, the Rollins pop, I'm going to say, because of um, a lot of the problems that these two Bella twins have. Um, what's your favourite pop in my collection, obviously? Which pops do you think I should get? Which series should I delve into? Which other WWE pops should I pick up? Are there any underground toy exclusive pops that I should really, really get? Thanks for watching, this has been Revolver Ocelot, and thank you for joining in on my birthday bonanza. Thank you everyone who was there for me, thank you everyone who bought presents for me, thank you everyone who experienced my 19th birthday with me. It really does mean a lot to me. Thank you all you guys for supporting the channel. Um, you know I've been doing this channel since I was 16 years old, and it's been a very important part of my life. It's really always stuck there, and I've always just done it when I felt like it, and really, really put a lot of effort into the channel. I've enjoyed it so much, and I've put money in resources and time to the channel and i just thank everyone so much for everything they've done for me this weekend not just my friends here but all my fans uh my family just everyone thank you so much this has been revolver ocelot